Today I'm going to be making a southwestern casserole. This is from the Home and Garden Party cookbook. Uh, this is a very old cookbook. I have no idea what the year was that it came out. Uh, but this is a recipe that I've never made before, so I thought I would give it a try. It, um, there is the name. I don't want to mispronounce it. So you are going to need two cups of crushed tortilla chips. And what I did was I put handfuls in a Ziploc baggie and I measured them until I got two cups. And that's what you see in the bowl. You need one pound of ground turkey. You need a 16 ounce can of stewed tomatoes. I could not find a 16 ounce can. So this is a 14.5 ounce can. I'm sure this will be fine. You need one eight ounce can of kidney beans. It doesn't say, it didn't say like specifically light red kidney beans, but that's what I saw at Walmart. So that's what I got. Um, and they did not have an eight ounce can. So I measured out eight ounces and honestly there's not much left in the bottom of that can at all i probably could have used it all and it would have been fine but i was trying to be exact uh it just said one small can of sweet corn so this is an 8.75 ounce can of corn one of the little mini ones uh you need one small onion chopped uh, which i have in this bag you need two cloves of crushed garlic. And instead of buying cloves of garlic and crushing them ourselves, um, we bought the chunky garlic. It's a stir in paste. And it says on the back, one teaspoon of paste to replace one medium clove. So I put two uh, teaspoons in here. That's what that is. You need one stalk of celery chopped. You need a half a teaspoon of chili powder. This is optional, but I like chili powder. We all do. So I put the, I'm going to definitely use the half teaspoon of chili powder. And you need two cups of a grated Monterey Jack cheddar blend. And this is two cups. So the first thing you have to do is it says to dump your uh, tortilla chips in the bottom of this pan. It doesn't say to grease it or anything like that. And then it says to um, uh, saute your turkey until done and then drain the oil. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna saute this, drain the oil, and I'll come back. Okay, it said to drain off the excess grease, but, uh, or oils, but there is no oil in here to drain off. Uh, maybe because I cooked mine for a little while, uh, but I don't have to worry about that step. So now it says to add the onion and the celery and the garlic. And then it says after this, it doesn't say to let it cook for any certain amount of time. It just says, um, then you add the tomatoes and the kidney beans and the corn. And it does not say to drain the corn. So I am, I have juice and all if you're curious. And then you want to add the chili powder. It says to cook until the mixture is at a slow boil. So, just gonna stir this really well and then give it a chance to, to start boiling. Now you take this. I've only had it on the heat for probably five minutes, but it doesn't say that you're supposed to necessarily let it cook. So now you add that mixture to the top of this pan. And I will say right now that because this is a home and garden party cookbook, you're supposed to have, they assume everyone has the home and garden party dishes. So the first thing that it said was, to um, use the either the uh, chip maker 
or the oval baker. So I don't know what size those pans actually are, but this one was my oval, the only oval pan that, well, the biggest oval pan that I have. So I figured I would use that. So I think it's gonna be fine though. Um, so now you wanna take your two cups of cheese, sprinkle it on top, and I might put a, like a cookie sheet or something underneath this in case it runs off because it is uh, quite full. But then you want to bake this in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. And so when it's um, been that long, we'll be back. So this is how it looks out of the oven. Now you're supposed to let it sit for 10 minutes and it says that the tortilla chips on the bottom will act as a crust. So I'm gonna leave it for 10 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and this says that it'll be like a lasagna with the, those tortilla chips on the bottom. And so I'm still using a spoon as you see. Okay, so my tortilla chips are over here, I think. <laughs> so let me try to get more out. Maybe if I was using a spatula. Okay, so this is how it looks. And we'll be back in just a second to try it. Okay, I'm hoping this is good. <laughs> See, those are, because you use the stewed tomatoes, they're in great big hunks. Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of slice through those. I'm trying to get everything. I've had some that tasted similar to this. I didn't get any uh, tortilla shells in my first bite. I didn't either, I had to just go get some. You had to get some on purpose. Uh, like afterwards. You've had some something that tastes just like this? Is that mm -hmm. what you said? Mmm. Okay, Honestly? Corn, like a corn baker or something like that. I've had something like that. Honestly, there's it, something that Don Pablo's used to serve that ha tastes a lot like this. Yeah. Um, and the tortillas really turn into like a, a cornmeal kind of crust, mm -hmm. but it's, it's soft. Mm -hmm. It's not crunchy. No. So do you think I made the right choice leaving the juice in the corn? Yeah, because I think it would be dry then. Mm -hmm. if you had um, I'm thinking like a corn casserole or something like that. That's what I've had that, that tastes like this. I like this. I think this is very mm -hmm. good. And it was easy. I would probably put some hot sauce on it. I think it could use a little pick me up. And you know, like I said. Some more spice. Because really mm -hmm. all you get primarily is corn. Yes. Beans and tortillas. Yes. I think <laughs> if I way. made this again, instead of putting just a, a teaspoon of chili powder, I would put a whole tablespoon of chili powder because we like spicy yeah, things. Yeah, a little, and, and this really doesn't mean spicy. I mean, I can't even tell it's chili powder. Right. Uh, yeah. But it's really good. Because it's only a teaspoon and it's a lot of stuff to only have yep, one teaspoon. I but I think they were trying to make it for people who maybe don't necessarily like spicy things. Well, it's a party dish and you really do have to be kind of make it for every taste. Well, this is under the dinner section. Yeah, but I guess you if you're having a dinner party, I right. see what you're saying. Yeah, it yeah. has to be somewhat bland to, to meet all tastes. Right, I understand that. Well, I think it's good. It was easy. So um, if you've ever made anything like this, uh, you can let me know. If you have a home and garden party cookbook, let me know uh, because I'm curious when this might have come out. I talked to my aunt. I'm curious if they, they still make that. She's, uh, you know, I don't know that they do make them. Uh, she's thinking it was back in 2003 that probably we probably that. bought this cookbook because she's thinking my nieces were uh, two or three years old. So she's singing 2003, so. That might be right. Yeah, that's probably right. Uh, so anyway, let me know if you've tried anything like this. 
for us though we like it a lot just would mm -hmm. add a little bit more uh, spice to it so i will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching